We back at it. Prime is Houston. Week three brings in a familiar face, man. Pac-12. Khalid Williams, the Heisman Trophy winner. Shador Sanders, first year at Colorado. Definitely had to match up with Khalid Williams. Listen, you're looking at an alpha male at the quarterback position. You know what I'm saying? Well, he showed he was an alpha male throughout USC. I mean, there, you know, if there's anybody in the NFL right now that looks like Patrick Mahomes, Khalid Williams. I'll take it a step farther. I think he is a little bit more athletic than Patrick Mahomes and a little bit more mobile than Patrick Mahomes as well. Khalid Williams, man, he, he, he he's going to be the next thing. And it comes down to the Kenna Saints pit a football team around him, right? It comes down to weapons, weapons and protection when it comes down to Khalid Williams. They could pit a, pit, pit, pit a team in front of him. And and, and if I was them, I, I, I'm attacking the draft. I'm attacking free agency. I'm good. Like, I, I would have thought that they would have brought Jalen Waddle in. Uh, they got to get him more weapons, in my opinion. But this is what you're getting out of this rookie quarterback. Well, first-year quarterback. His rookie season wasn't bad at all. I mean, the guy had 107 QBR. Threw for thin there, 5,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, and only nine interceptions. He had a 66 completion percentage. He was lights out for the Saints. They have them a special quarterback and could lead Williams. Um, again, my opinion is you get some weapons around, and they still have veteran Alvin Kamara at the running back position. But at the receiver position, you know, Chris Olive, Chris Marshall, you got Chase Claypool, Antoine Green, and then Robert Woods. All right, so, I mean... Let's just call it what it is. I'll have a way for him to take that next step. Chris Marshall can really be a good number two receiver, but they need a guy. They need a guy, especially at the tight end position. They need a guy that can go with, go with this guy. They got to put some weapons around, period. Um, Zach Kuntz is here. Uh, got good speed, 6'7 from Old Dominion. Pretty good speed, uh, but got to develop. Can he show he can make the plays? I like the offensive line protection they got for him, right? Y.A. Morris has given up a lot of sacks in two years. But Cesar Ruiz is very, very good at left guard. You're looking at the center, Eric McCoy, been in the league for six years. Zach Zinter, big-time player from Michigan. He's in his second year. He's a dog. And then Ryan Ramzak's there. Um, edge, on the edge, though, defensively, this team, I mean, they got, they got stuff to do. They got to get some weapons out here. I think the strength of this defense, though, uh, you look at what they got at the linebacker position, Mason Cobb, Blackshire. It was a good pickup for them. Two good uh, superstar linebackers in the middle. Um, and then you got JOK on the outside. In the cornerback room, you got Marshawn Lattimore. You also got Travis Hodges Tomlinson, the Danian's uh, nephew. Uh, he's pretty solid, man. He's, he's a baller right now. So they got two shutdown corners there They're trying to get something out of Mike Hughes in the seventh year or young Philip Riley to develop there. In the safety room, Tyron Matthews is up there in age. He He's kind of mentoring Donovan McMillan. But then at Isaiah Simmons, you look at Isaiah Simmons, He uh, a couple of years ago, he was the guy back there. He was leading uh, the NFL in INTs. Um, he was up there. He was up there for uh, defensive player of the year at one point. Um, but since that 24 season, I mean, it's off to a slow start. He does got an interception right here. So we need Isaiah Simmons to step up right now. When it comes down to this Saints team matching up with the Houston Texans, I just don't see the matchup, right? I almost would say it's unfair for me to really talk about the Khalid Williams Shador Sanders matchup when the teams aren't. I, I just think, I don't care if the. Houston Texans are younger than the Saints or they're still the youngest football team in the NFL. I, I just don't see the Saints as a whole football team being able to even compete with this Houston Texans team. This team is different. And they built that they built it up in one season. They, they well it took them two, you know, they went one and seventeen under Coach Prime. And again, that that one and seventeen was in question. That's just call it what it is. Seemed like they were tanking to get their son, get his son. Pimp simple as that. But the following year, they lost one game and won the Super Bowl. And this team has yet to even go through. Half that team hasn't even been through a contract yet. Their first contract in the NFL yet. So,
I think when it comes down to it, Houston is just too much for uh, the Saints right now, and that roster is just not up to par yet. They're not even one of the better teams in the NFL or even in the NFC yet. Well, let's see how they're doing on the year, though. Let's get to some records and see what the hell's going on in the NFC. All right, so the Saints are 1-1 one one right now. Commanders, let's look at the NFC. Commanders, Panthers, Rams, Giants, all 2-0. And, oh. and then you got your one-loss teams. And the AFC, you got Texans and the Jets are undefeated. And then you're looking at a lot of one-loss teams. All right. All right, so the Saints is in the middle of the pack with the one and one record right now. They were ready to play their third game, and they're up against Houston Texans. Now, the good thing is they are playing this game at home in New Orleans. So they get uh, Coach Prime and them in New Orleans. Come back. 